Okay, figuring out why we see what we see. We're going to come back to this drawing in just a second. Why do we see that? Let's just do a quick review, because this is a lot. The more you do it, like anything, the more familiar you get, it seems so not so bad. I put in some sun rays and I threw in an earth there, put in the terminator, that's all. And then I put my earth observer on there, a lot to think about there. Spinning eastward with an arrow for the horizon, noticing when sun rises and sun sets. So I put in the times of day. You know, every three hours is good. And then I threw in the moon. The moon is orbiting Earth. It's orbiting eastward, but slowly, right? It just moves a little bit. It moves about 15 degrees, a fist and a thumb, relative to the stars around us each day. So we just put it one place and let Earth spin one entire time and leave Moon there. Okay, so that's what we did. We drew the Terminator on Moon, which is always going to be the same. If the sunlight's coming from the right, the right side's lit. The side facing sun is lit. The other side's dark. It'll cast a shadow. The side facing us is what we see. So now we want to see, when is that, when Moon is there, when does it rise and set? And what phase do we see? So that's where we're going to pull it all together. And we'll see that our observations that we've been making for thousands of years are now understood. OK, so take a look here. Again, if you take a little model, and you might see this. So these are a lot of steps to really pull out all any, anything that's confusing you. We're doing a top view here, sun over here. Remember that the side facing, oh, there I go. The side facing sun, heck, let's make it bigger. There's our moon. It doesn't have to be to scale. The side facing sun is lit. Because it comes around the side facing. But the side that we see, we're on Earth, most of us. And so the side facing Earth is what we see. The side facing sun is lit. The side facing Earth, the near side to Earth, is what we see. So let's sketch that. Let's work on that and pull it together here. Where are we? We're here. Okay, good. We're on step 13. Okay, part... Are we on step 13? We are on step 10. Thank you. Part 4. Moonrise and set. Let's do this. So let me follow these steps, not jump ahead. We want to see what we are looking at, what our Earth observer is seeing. We're aliens out here floating in space watching this happen. We're saying, hey, what do they see? And in a, in a sense, we're saying, hey, could you text me up a picture of what you're seeing? Or a video? Because what you'd see is that as the day goes along, you'd see sunrise, sun gets higher, sun gets lower, and sun sets as we come around. What about moon? It's the same thing for moon. If you understood sun, you understand moon. So what I want to do, though, is show what we're getting from that, from our folks down on Earth as we're floating above in space. And I want you to uh, draw a scene from Earth box. So I'm going to get rid of this. Somewhere, it doesn't matter, anywhere out of the way here, we're going to do a scene from Earth. This is very much like what chapter one did. So scene from Earth, like a sci-fi movie. Okay, scene from Earth. Getting a little bit crowded there. Okay. What am I going to see from Earth? Well, on Earth, you know that we generally look Eat sandwich or eat southwest. Right, let's draw a little bigger. Now, moon where it rises and sets, it can vary quite a bit, but that's okay. We know that that's going to be there. And we know the moon is going to rise somewhere in the east, somewhere around here. Right? Rise. But what time? Every phase will rise at a different time. It'll be gradual. We're going to get roughly what time. And then it's going to set. But we want to fill in that box. At what time? Okay. It's going to rise and set. What time is it going to be? All right, cool. 
What are these folks seeing? So let's get the moon rise time. All right. That was step 10 there. Step 11 is find the moon rise time. When is, if moon is there, again, do all eight of them, one at a time, not all in the same picture. When is moon going to rise for me? Here I am, standing on Earth. Right. Doo -doo -doo. Do I see moon below my horizon? Moon's over there. This is Earth. We're standing on Earth, spinning around. As we spin around, I'm standing here. My horizon's like this. I don't see anything below my ground. Moon's over there. I can't see it. Spin around here. Oh, it's sunrise, because sun's over to the right. Still can't see moon, can I? Because my horizon's here. Now, can I see a moon? According to my picture, it would be beneath my horizon. But in reality, my picture's not to scale. The moon is also quite far away. And so here's the trick that I want you to remember. For sun, when east pointed in the direction of sun, it was sunrise. Then it got higher over my eastern horizon. Then it was between. Then it got lower over my western horizon. And then it set over my west. When east pointed in the direction of sun, it was sunrise. When west pointed in the direction of sun, to the right, it was sunset. So same game here. When east points in the direction of moon, which is up and to the right, don't worry about the scale of my picture. That's not very good. When east points in the direction of moon, up and to the right, what time of day about? Is it afternoon? Is it evening? When does sun rise if moon is sitting right there? See it? When is east pointing up and to the right? Here, east is pointing down. Here, east is pointing down and to the right. East is pointing to the right. East is pointing up and to the right. And while my picture doesn't show it, still being way out there, I would say, moonrise. Because east is pointing up and to the right. Somewhere around, somewhere in the morning. Whatever phase this is, it's going to rise. I'm going to say 9 a.m. Good enough for us, right? 9 a.m. Make sure you get the a.m. and the p.m., right? Antes meridian, post meridian. You really get to know this stuff, right? And then where's moon? Well, it's still up and to the right. So for, for you, it's going, oh, it's getting higher, right? But still, notice it's still up and to the right, just like sun. Now it's up high. And now it's still up and to the right. Notice my green arrows are all going up and to the right. There's moon. But for me, it's getting lower on my horizon. And then when does it set? When is west pointing up and to the right? That's step 12. If you get that idea, it's not so bad. Your picture shows you when that, when moon is at that position, when it rises, east points in the direction of moon. It'll get higher and higher and higher, and then it'll get lower. And you go, hey, moon set. And I'll put that on my picture. This is the picture that they sent from Earth. 9 p.m. Every phase, rising and setting at a different time. East points in the direction of the moon and rises. Gets higher and higher. West points in the direction of the moon. It sets. OK, so that's when it rises and sets. And that is part four. You've got it. Now, let's take a look here. How, let's just pause on that one. Okay, let's pause on that one. Now, now, moon could be any of these places. Again, don't do it all in one, but if moon is here, I know the light's here. Okay? And, and, and the, the terminator is here, same place. When would it, if it was here, when would it rise and set? It's on the right, so east points in the right. That's when it rises. Coming around, west is pointing over there, so I'm not seeing any more. That's when it would set. It would rise, get higher, and set if it's here. What if it's here? What if the moon's there? When does it rise and set? Can you see that? If you can, you've got it. If you can't, you're working on memory. That's way too hard for this. This is way too hard. You've got to let the picture tell you. Just look. When is east pointing down? 
When the moon is there, that's when that would rise. Then it's going to, you're going to spin around, it's going to get higher in your sky, and then it's going to set. When is west pointing down? That's when that phase sets. What phase is it? Right over here. The side facing sun is lit, the side facing earth is what we see. This rises when east points to the left. When is east pointing to the left? That's when it rises. It'll get higher and higher and higher. When is west pointing to the left? That's when it sets. So no matter where moon is, you can figure out from this picture about when it's going to rise and when it's going to set. Is it going to rise in the morning and set in the evening sometime or early, you know, what, what time of day? Afternoon? When does it rise? It's roughly out 12 hours, and of course that will vary quite a bit, but this gives you a very good sense. The last thing then is, what are we seeing? I mean, seen from Earth, they told us when it rises and sets. I, I see moon there, and I see this spinning around 24 hours, and this one's just creeping, so it's pretty much there. So the last part here is, you need to identify the side-facing Earth. The side-facing Earth, step 13, is the near side of moon. The side of moon, we use that phrase a lot, the near side of moon. The side of moon facing Earth. Huh. Let's do that. It says here, draw a line through the center of moon to divide moon's near side and far side. Right? This line is different from the terminator. So what side faces Earth? Not that side, not that side. That doesn't face Earth. This is a ball in space. If you go like this, what side do I see? Oh, I see. 